Not sure if you guys heard, but our new Mullet 6 Seconds t-shirt is out now. This shirt is only available on pre-order until tomorrow at midnight. This shirt came out awesome, has the time slip from Mullet's first 6 second pass. Check it out at cleesmcfarland.com after the video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please McFarland YouTube channel. Morning, guys. We are TX2K bound a few hours after we loaded. It's very foggy. But we are hitting the road. Literally see the moisture in the air. It's crazy. Boys. Uh, you 544 a gallon. Oh no. Man. Wouldn't question it if it was, you know, apart from the race car, but golly. Looks like we're gonna have to go in and get a couple packs of ramen. That is spicy. Alright boys, taking fuel up. Boy, these prices are spicy. We are at Love's in Gulfport right now. Filled up the truck is super dirty, getting it washed when we get to Houston, but uh, running like a champ. So we are just gonna fuel up and keep rolling. One more stop just to top off. We can definitely make it to Houston right now, but we're gonna stop one more time and to top it off so the generator has plenty of fuel. All right, ladies and gents, we have officially made it to TX2K. There are rigs all around. We're the only ones awake. Pulling the spark out. We just hit a Bucky's. We're gassed up, even though we just drove all day. We're just pumped up, so. Get a little burnout going real quick, come on. Oh. <laughs> easy now, easy now. I'm flat spot my wheels, dude. <laughs> Guy can't drive. Can't drive, dude. All right, everybody, big buenos dias. We have made it to TX2K. Ruby's warming up. We gotta figure out that hood gap where it's gonna rip the hood off. Morning. Morning. What you doing, buddy? Retorking some heads? Yeah. We're actually feeling a little crazy this morning. Doing it on the lift. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. Get those I'm heads extra light. tight, dude. We need them extra tight. So today, feeling a little crazy. Instead of 110, what they're supposed to be at, we went to 125 in the shop. Yeah. A little spicy this morning. I didn't have a Dr. Pepper, so I went to 135. <laughs> So well, they're going to have all the clamping force now. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, big bonus, guys. We have these guys from Detailed. Mobile Detailers drove down here to Houston, and they are cleaning the toter. Look at the shine, dude. So they're just ripping on this thing. Let me get a detail. We drove through a bunch of rain yesterday, which tore it up. So I made a Facebook post. It's like, who in Houston can come mobile detail the unit? And these guys showed up right away, dude. So they're getting it dialed in. Bye. Looking good. Qualifying today, boys, because they're already behind. So we only have one qualifier period or just one today? We get one today, two tomorrow. Oh, no, what do you think? Should I just run to the eighth or just go all the way? I, it depends. We'll see what the like, weather does. Yeah. Uh, I just rode a two out for it. I pulled some out of the back end of it. Just like, you don't need to kill it first pass. Yeah, what do you think? Like 40 pounds of boost or something? Yeah, probably about probably somewhere between 38 and 40. Okay. We'll go seven. Are you gonna okay? So we'll run it hard. Run it all the way out, yeah. So we'll see. I'm more concerned with the first 30 feet. Yeah. That's really all I'm concerned with. 
Yeah, the first well, 30 feet is the hardest part. And then Ruby, we just need to go like a 780. 780 with Ruby would we'll put have us. To turn it down. I think that tune up that's in there will probably go yeah. 50. So we want we don't want Ruby to end up in the really really fast class with the Elko. We want Ruby to end up in the slower class, and then we can race the field because Ruby can really only go about a 750. So if we keep her in the slow class, she'll have a chance of winning. If she ends up in the fast class, then we'll be in trouble. Be draining the water, hanging yeah. out the <laughs> bending rods. So we got a couple weird things today. We got gear change. Went from a 340 to a 325, so we don't go through the traps with so much RPM. And then we also got wider tire, which is going to help. So same tire, wider wheel, wider wheel, a little more contact patch. So maybe we can hammer it a little harder. We'll, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm getting fired so, up, dude. Know, you're excited. I'm excited. I mean, dude, it's TX2K. You got to uh, do something. We got to do something. You got to do something. There is stuff. multiple six-second six cars yeah, in our class. There's going to be the you know 200 plus mile an hour El Camino out there just. It up. Come on, we'll be there. We're gonna make stuff happen. All right, Sam, you're done, Sam. You're done. No, you're done. <laughs> Looks pretty good, man. Thank you guys for coming out. Appreciate it. We got the toter all dialed in. Sam, what you think? I think it looks fantastic. Look at it. Great. Up to your part. Okay, you know, <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of time. All right. I want to show everyone what our fridge looks like on a weekend trip. We got this sucker dialed. Dr. Peps, Dews, Blue Powerades, and eh, Purple Powerades are cool, but they're, you know, they're all right. A couple shred bowls for Jack Stand, some water for emergencies, some milk for our cookies. Sam made a lot of cookies, so we're dialed there. We are looking good. Yeah, brother! All that driving and BS. Yeah, 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 you finally can go racing. One pass today. Hurry up and wait, brother. Hurry up and wait. Zach's up torquing the heads in the crack of dawn <laughs> for our 9 a.m. hit. It's now 5 p.m. Hey, look, guys. It's kind of like an apple. One pass a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, it is. Guys, we got tire covers for once to keep our tires consistent pressures, and the sun's not even hitting them. So, eh, maybe that one a little bit. All right, boys, here we go. First pass. Qualifying. Let's do it. If anyone is in the that includes against the fifth flanger. That includes against the fifth flanger. If you park your We got James here. James is going to be racing mullet today. I know that makes you nervous. How do you feel about that? I'm nervous. I'm going to mess him up on a tree. Oh, you're going to play mind games? Oh, he's gonna, I'm going to just tree him. I think he's used to your games. I, he ain't used to my games. Oh my <laughs> I make up new ones as I go. Look at these two bullets. signal. Did you have power on the screen?
good fireball out of the side. Did it spin and hit the limiter? Yeah, I mean it hit hit the limiter, which okay. is what eighty eight hundred. So I mean, okay, well that's not a bad we thing. We need to check the rockers. I bet it. I'll definitely check them. It couldn't have been good for. No, it was a good it was a good fireball. I'm sure you'll see it in the footage. Ruby left good. Yeah, I think he let out at the eighth. No, his car shut off. Oh, it shut yeah. off. I don't know if he lost green signal, but the mullet hasn't spun that far out in so long. Must yeah. be a rear gear change, so. Yeah, we're I gonna think fight that. Is when it spun, so maybe we just need to lower the shift RPM on the one two for this track. Rolling out on them, didn't see them, and then I went to go shift, and the thing just like shut off. It like lost all power. It's just weird. I went a 123 60 foot. James went a 124. Dude, 011 on the tree to an 044. I wanted to give you that one. <laughs> Alright, so we both spun before the 330. Or you shot off, I spun. Mine did. I was like, oh, I went like, Rah! but I just stayed in it and drove through it fine. I wanted to go grab that gear for the shift and just like lost power. Mine spun on the shift. Yep. Alright, guys, so letting the cars cool off. What are you seeing, Nate? Uh, it did it before it shifted. It did so, do it before the shift. Yeah, I think I might make it shift sooner. Okay. So that there's not pull some power out. Burger. It's not a good track. We can do that. This track, we got off the starting line, which was yeah. I thought once we were past you know 40 feet, we'd be good. But yeah, it has its quality down forever. Yeah. So. But a rear gear is like a whole I mean, we new were, car. We were all in. All the boost was in. Yeah. Before that, it spun. So I mean, it was it was hooked up. Moving, it was about to roll out. Yeah. It was it was gonna do something. Right. Well, get it figured out. As far as Ruby goes, we'll figure that out. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we think we figured out Ruby. We're pretty sure that she lost RPM signal. It doesn't say that it did in the data log, but sometimes data log can't pick up every millisecond of what's happening. It depends on your data log rate. So we adjusted her crank signal pickup and the car is running and started up better. It might've been a little bit too far away from the magnets on the balancer and it wasn't picking up a clean RPM signal. Now it seems good, so we should be all right. As for mullet, so mullet, mullet, what I did was I shortened the shift time. So yeah. It's going to shift at 1.65 instead of 1.95, and then that area where the boost comes in, I just softened it just a little bit. So it should be good. It'll soften it up. It'll shift into second gear. I think the early shift is going to be key. Like Mark Mickey, the first thing he told me was, well, we were shifting it early. It was going oh, up yeah. 75, 76, and I assume, but shifting it early won't let the so shifting it early won't let, let the couple converter, converter couple. Okay, so. I figured with a longer gear, it would shift even earlier and be okay, but that was not the case. So we'll yeah. shift it earlier now and see what it does. We always, you know, Good change a lot cars. of stuff at the best time. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a gear change, so you gotta usually play with things a little bit. It left good, so I mean, that's- Part a of me wishes we just left the other gear in it and Used locked lock the converter, yeah. but- Well, now everybody's like, oh, you don't lock that thing? And I'm like, dude, everybody said not to. I don't want to get the crankshaft on the track, but I guess we'll just leave the crankshaft on the track. All right, so we'll uh, we'll see. If it doesn't go down next time, we'll throw the 340 in it. Go back to where we were. <laughs> yes. All right. All right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight. You know, we don't get another pass tonight. We did what we did for now, and uh, we got to hope that our changes work for tomorrow. We only get two qualifying hits tomorrow. That's it for now. Thanks for watching New for Dale. We will freaking see you later.